Today we're going to react some concentrated nitric acid with some copper pennies. I have a Canadian penny and a euro cent. And demonstrate that the brown gas, nitrogen dioxide, that is given off is very corrosive and in fact is very acidic itself. So we're going to take some extra precautions here. We've got ring stands so that the flasks cannot tip over. I've got some concentrated nitric acid, which is 68% nitric acid, which is roughly 15 moles per liter. And we're going to use that to react with the copper. Now this is a very vigorous reaction that gives off gas. I'm going to put some universal indicator into the water to show you that it is in fact neutral. Put lots of color in there. And it looks like it's just a tad bit acidic, but it's a yellow, yellowy color. What I want to do is basify that to begin with. So I'm going to use 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide and just put a few drops in there. And you can see the universal indicator immediately turns purple, indicating I've got a basic solution. Now in my nitric acid, once I put the copper in, the reaction will be quite vigorous. So I'm going to do this first. We are ready to put the copper into the nitric acid. Gas will be formed in this flask, it will go through the tube, and it will bubble through my basic solution on the other side. So I'm going to drop in my two coins. You can see the reaction starts right away. You can see the green reaction there. And the brown nitrogen dioxide gas is formed very rapidly. As that gas builds up in the flask and is pushed through the tube, you can see right away my basic solution went very, very acidic. The bubbling of the nitrogen dioxide gas actually forms nitric acid, reforms nitric acid in my second flask. Went from basic to acidic in a matter of seconds. Let's watch that reaction again at four times the regular speed. Reminder, this is a very, very dangerous reaction. Without a fume hood, this is what you can expect. That brown gas spewing out into your lab and forming nitric acid in your lungs. Please do not attempt this experiment without a good functional fume hood. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment below, subscribe to my channel, tell all your friends about Chemist Corner. See you soon on Chemist Corner.